you know, some days parenting can be hard. Are you with me? You know, I'm not saying like that all days, you know, we have these moments here and there, but parenting, like I think in this day and age feels a little bit harder because we're all up in each other's space, right? You know, we have so much access to some great information that is super helpful. And then we have a whole lot of access to a whole lot of judgy McJudgy pants, right? And it does make it hard for us. Like, who am I as a parent and, and how do I want to do this? And I want to improve and I want to get better and whew, there can be so many places to start with that. Well, you know, I actually really enjoy looking at like the different sort of parenting styles, not so much that I can be sticking labels on people, but to me, like it's extremely helpful and maybe to get some insight, especially on families that I work with or children that I work with. And so, you know, I have done some videos on some of the different parenting styles. Well, this one is a newer one and it keeps like sort of cropping up again and again. So today let's look at lawn mower parenting. Hi, welcome to Learning Life. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're here because maybe I get to help answer a question for you. You know, I do. I love to research. I love to learn. You know, my background in special education, like just looking at characteristics and nuances and all of that. And you know what? I bring that into parenting too. You know, in a way, like I am super grateful that, you know, there are people out there taking time to sort of formulate like ideas and like bubbles and groups, not so much that we can just whack labels on everybody but so that we can we can learn so that we can grow and for someone like me it's like hey i'd love to bring you this information i would love for you to like know a little bit more about this because maybe it can help you because i know actually it really helps me too and so i do have other videos on the different parenting styles check them out they're linked below um, and also at my website learningthis.life But you know what? Thank you for checking them out. If you have seen them and thank you for being here today, don't forget that you can like and subscribe and be part of this learning life community as we all just try to do this together and to support each other and to build each other up. Lawn mower parents. Have you heard this term? Okay, let's think about like a lawn mower. It's plowing through. You know, it's also called like snow plow parenting. Does that make a little bit more sense? Whoa, pushing through. Or bulldozer parenting. Here we are. You know, it's a little different to helicopter parenting. We're sort of used to that one, you know, the helicopter parent that hovers, hovers, making sure that everything is okay. Well, this is sort of like the next step. This is like I've bumped up from a helicopter parent now to a lawnmower parent. And what I'm going to do is be excessively involved in my child's life. I am going to micromanage. I'm going to interfere. I'm going to arrange things to protect them because I don't want them to ever have failure or disappointment. Really, that's how we define like a lawnmower parent. Just that micromanaging, being so intensely involved in a way plowing through any obstacle, clearing the path and getting out of the way so that there is no, you know, broken hopes or disappointments and so that there's no failure. I mean, really? Now, funny story. I was talking to a friend about this. You know, we're talking about different parenting styles, like, you know, a helicopter and this, that, and the other. And I mentioned lawnmower parenting and these little ears popped up and they go, mom, you're a lawnmower parent. You're so cool. And I'm like, and um, what? Like, hello, child. Um, which household are you from? Until I realize what they meant is, you see, I get the lawnmower out. We have a ride on one and I attach the trailer to it. And my girls get to sit in the back and have tea parties and pretend that they're like the queen, the queen of England, queen of Sweden, while mummy mows the lawn. So in their mind, I am a lawnmower parent and I am really, really cool. I had to explain to them that when it comes to parenting, what a lawnmower parent is, they didn't think that was cool, but I am. So for those of you that have a ride on lawnmower in a trailer, be cool. So, you know, it comes to this question, can we honestly protect our children from failure and disappointment? No, we can't. We cannot protect them from it as much as we would want to. And then I guess that sort of brings in, it begs to question, like, why would we want to? I mean, I don't actually want to protect my girls from boredom. They come to me like, mom, I'm bored. Oh, bummer for you. What are you going to do about it? 
Actually, you know, they're still outside hours later playing using their imagination. So just like I want them to like problem solve and stuff like that around their boredom, I want that when it comes to failure and disappointment. And we cannot protect them from that. We're not going to be around them all the time. I don't want my girls constantly by my side so that I can like be protecting them. We can't. We cannot healthily do that. It's not good for our health or for theirs. The characteristics of law knower parents. There are some sort of defined like characteristics. Like they don't allow children to experience or handle like any conflict. Okay. You know, like it can be tough as a parent to, to sit back. And I've watched it even with my girls and their best friends. The mom and I were sitting there going, mm-hmm. They'll, they'll work it out and we'll only step in to mediate like if we need to. But if I'm not allowing them any conflict or any problem solving or resolution in that, is that a good thing? Our lawn mower parents will like maybe start doing and then continue doing the children's homework. You know, like a helicopter parent will be like, are you doing it? 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 But like a lawn mower parent will be like, oh, yeah, you know what? That's not right here. Let me do it so that it's right and you can hand in the correct work. And then the next day, well, how about I just do it for you so that it's correct and you get the good grade and then just keep doing it. Is this a good thing? Okay. They will also like always, big word, like we say in family, try not to use quantifiers, but they will always rescue. Like when the child's forgotten like homework or like sports shoes or instrument or whatever it is, if we are always rescuing. We are not doing our children a service. Now I get it. Sometimes it happens once or twice here or there. We go, oh, you know what? I can go up and I can take it to them. But if we are always doing it constantly, you know, doing it, then they're going to be like, well, it's fine. I don't have to remember anything. Huh? Mom and dad will do it for me. This is great. No, no, it's not. They will also remove a child from any like hard activities. Mom, this is so hard. I don't want to do it. Oh, okay. We'll quit. Why? Like, why do we want to do this? Now, look, I don't believe in making and forcing a child to do something that they really don't want to be doing and give it a really good try. And I'm not talking about like one week, but I like, give it a try. And if you still don't really like it, fine, we can step out. But the moment that it gets hard, like, oh, I don't like it. I don't want to do it. It's hard. Oh, okay, baby girl. It's all right. You don't have to do it. Again, we're not helping in that persevering, in building character, in like trying things and maybe breaking through. Maybe it's hard now, but then it will get easier. You know, many things in life are like that, right? And then a a lot more parent will also like just give in and then give everything to their child. I want this. Oh, okay. You know, and getting to that point that the child, I want, I want, I want, I get, I get, I get. Okay, it's not good for them. It's not good for our bank accounts either. You know, it's really not building up a healthy relationship when we have that. Now, I do personally believe that really for lawnmower parents, they have great intentions. They really do. They want to help. They want, but it backfires. Okay, you know, we can't step in and constantly rescue our children. We can't step in them and protect them, wrap them in bubble wrap so that they never experience a a mean word. We can't. Okay, so we've got these conflicts. We've got problems that need to be solved. If we as a lawnmower parent are trying to do it, we are setting our child up for failure, which wait a minute, we're trying to protect them from. Okay, it's not going to work. Conflict happens we need to learn problem solving. I, I think that's one of the most critical skills that we need to learn is problem solving, conflict resolution, how to deal with frustration, like all of that. We need these skills. And in that, not be afraid of big emotions. Now, sometimes I wish that my girls' emotions weren't so big, but we are working with them on that. And so as we hit things that hit obstacles or frustrations or disappointments, how do we work through that? And the consequences on the actions of how we've been dealing with those things. We're not just going to race in and go, oh, you're sad. Well, I will just make everything better. What will make you happy? Oh, that will make it. Of course, that's not how it works. It's not how it works in our family because we believe that our children our future adults, I'm not letting them like be in my house for 18 years, me doing everything for them. And at 18 go, oh, you're an adult. Goodbye. I have totally set them up for failure in that regard, but we can build them up. We can strengthen them. We can work with them like on this, you know, 
And I also want to say, I think it really can be easy to judge a lawnmower parent. I, I admit, like sometimes like I try not to sound judgmental, like in different things, but it can, can eke out, especially like I've worked with a lot of children with a lot of families and I've seen some things and I've seen like what's happened, like with some of the kids and like my face betrays <laughs> my thoughts. You know, I don't want to be judgmental. I don't mean to be, but I think sometimes it can be easy to judge lawn male parents without understanding there could be like a good reason for it. And some of that can be trauma and hurt, okay, that they have worked their way out of trauma and hurt that they had as children and as teens, and they're wanting to protect their children from that. You know what? That's a beautiful thing. And I applaud those parents for having got through that, having worked through that. But that still doesn't mean that being a lawnmower parent is the best thing for our children. We've swung the pendulum to the other side because there's been hurt and disappointment. They will never be. And that can't be. Okay. So let's look at like intention. Let's look at that. And if you have found yourself swinging to the side of being a lawnmower parent, you know what? We can come back. It's about asking for help in that, in realizing, oh, I'm not letting my child deal with conflict. How do I help them with that? Or, you know what? I'm always rescuing them like about their homework. So next time they're on their own. I'm not taking it up to school. That'll be a big wake up call even for them. You know, there are things that we can do if we do find ourselves swinging into something that we don't like and we don't want for our families, because I do believe that all of us want success for our families. We do want good family relationships. So when we're swinging to something, we can come back. Okay. We don't have to stay over there. So if you feel that you've come over here, reach out and ask for some help to come back to where it is that you want to be so that your relationship with your children is strengthened so that your relationship as a family is strengthened. And so that you are setting up your future adults for success. Well, thank you so much for watching today. And I hope maybe that this has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And again, like if you feel like there's just something like stirring up in you and you need to talk, find somebody to talk about it, Uh, you know, because holding it in, I think for us as parents, and then it just like explodes in other ways. But you know what? I'm also here for you. And, you know, thank you for watching these videos and being part of this community. Now, if you want to be part of helping to get these videos out, you can. And you can do that by becoming a champion. And you can do that through patreon.com or through my website, learningthis.life.